It's time now for the Business Spotlight here on the WMAY Newsfeed. It's sponsored today by the SIU Center for Family Medicine. Dr. Nicole Maroka is here with us. She is a family physician at SIU. And we're talking about a very important and timely subject, that annual shot. And Dr. Maroka, thanks so much for, for being here. Uh, last year was pretty remarkable in the midst of the COVID pandemic. We had very little flu here locally. And I know a lot of experts are saying it may not be the same this year. It could be a bad flu season. What does that mean? for people listening and watching here and why should they be getting that vaccine well i i think um those predictions could be right because people are letting their guard down um they're ready to be done with with uh all the the social distancing that we've had and and we're, we're tired and we're worn out um with these viruses uh but we definitely need to keep our guard up um, and do what we can to reduce the burden on the healthcare system um, and through that, uh, through the blue vaccine, that that will help. You know, we've had so much discussion about vaccines recently, and I think it's important for people to understand a vaccine isn't 100 percent, 100 percent guarantee against getting something. But it certainly reduces the odds and makes it uh, much more likely that uh, even if you do become ill, you'll have a very mild case. Yes, uh, it doesn't always prevent the infection, but we know that it drastically reduces hospitalizations and death associated with the flu virus. Um, every year, um, you know, half a million Americans um, can be hospitalized with the flu, um, depending on the year and the numbers. Um, and we, we know that um, the numbers could be somewhere around 30,000 people that could die every year. We're talking to Dr. Nicole Maroka of the SIU Center for Family Medicine about flu shots, and we're really just at the very beginning of what is typically known as flu season. So uh, if you were to get the vaccine right now at this time, and I've already had my flu shot this year, but uh, if you were to do so, how long would that protection last? Does it take you through the entire flu season? Yeah, so generally flu season does run from October through May. Um, and we recommend people getting their flu shots around September or, or October. It takes about two weeks to really build up those antibodies after your shot. Um, and typically the peak of flu season, which is going to be, you know, those December through March, um, it, it's, it's, it'll be in your system then um, and you'll be able to really fight that off. So this would, I guess, really be the ideal time to do that because we don't have a lot of flu in the community right now. The longer you wait, uh, I would assume the greater your chances that you might uh, get it before you can get the vaccine fully effective in your system. Yeah, we suspect people will want to be getting together for, you know, get togethers with you know, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. So it's, it's really important that we do that now to, to build up that immunity. Uh, some immunizations, you, you have it as a child, and, and that's it. You don't have to worry about it anymore. But with the flu shot, this is a, an annual thing. Why do we have to get a new flu shot every year? Well, we know that with these types of viruses, there is some variants that come along and changes, and that's how they, they build that vaccine, um, is that they base it on what they can predict those variants will be um, for the next year. And so um, that is why I think a little bit of um, that immunity or those antibodies do wane over time. Um, we think that with the flu shot itself, it's maybe about six months to eight months, but everybody's a little bit different. Um, and so uh, that's why it's important to keep getting it every year. Another hot topic when we talk about vaccinations is side effects. What sorts of side effects are associated with the flu vaccine? Could you actually get the flu from a flu shot? You, you cannot. I mean, the, it's, this is a, a killed uh, virus um, in the flu shot itself. Uh, so you, you don't, it doesn't reactivate and come alive and give you the flu. But that reactogenicity or that reaction to the vaccine um, does sometimes feel like a little achy, maybe a mild fever, usually the following day. Um, and, and that's usually about it. You might have a little bit of soreness uh, at the injection site. But typically, most people don't have much more than that. Now, some people do get sick after the flu shot, and we find out it's because they, you know, were coming down with another virus. Or if it's in the middle of a lot of flu outbreak, um, they may have already started to come down with it as they went and got the shot. 
as you noted, it's a couple of weeks to really build up full immunity after you get the flu shot. So you do have to be careful. Uh, and even after you're fully immune, you should still take those sensible precautions. Yeah, and I think it's really important to note too, I mean, we're still seeing a ton of COVID and what we know now is that it is perfectly safe to get your flu shot and your COVID shot at the same time. And it doesn't mean that you will doubly get um, you know, that achiness um, and tiredness the next day, it will probably be about the same reaction either way as if you were to just get one of them. So we are recommending those individuals who haven't had the COVID shot yet, get both at the same time and be done with it. So how easy is it to get a flu shot and where does somebody go to get that taken care of? Well, uh, um, a lot of people are getting them at their local pharmacies. They can contact their local um, uh, health department, Sangamon County Public Health Department, I'm sure, could provide that for you, as well as uh, your your uh, provider's office. So, uh, again, if you have a family physician, you could reach out to them. And if you don't, it's another good reason to get one. And you could reach out to the SAU Center for Family Medicine to do so. Dr. Nicole Maroka, how do people reach, reach the SAU Center for Family Medicine? Um, well, you can go to our website um, at siumed.org, um, or you could give us a call at 217-545-8000. Again, Dr. Nicole Maroka, thank you so much for joining us here for this important discussion on flu shots very timely here in the Business Spotlight on the newsfeed, WMAY on 92.7, 94.7, and 9.70 a.m.